As you can see, this toilet is just constantly flushing. So first thing we're gonna do is turn off the toilet. We're gonna get some tools, pop this thing open, see what's going on. Now the part that you're gonna need is inside of this rebuild kit. You can buy parts individually, but I usually recommend it's not that expensive, just get the whole kit in case you end up needing other parts later. What happens is either this diaphragm that has a relief hole inside of it to equalize the pressure, that relief hole got clogged, or the diaphragm is just not sealing anymore. So I like to add a little rag around the bottom of the toilet here because there will be some water. You're gonna need a large uh, adjustable pliers or a um, crescent wrench. You're gonna take this top off here. Just unscrew it all the way. Now that it's loose, we can go by hand and remove the old diaphragm and take a look at it. Okay, got that out. I can take this piece off here. It's really sealed on there. Okay, I got it free. It's like welded to the diaphragm. You see that? That's a problem. All right, so I got them separated and you can see all the debris that came out. Now on these here, you see that tiny little hole where light's getting through? Well, that is the relief. That's what's meant to equalize the pressure. And if that gets clogged, the pressure will never equalize, um, causing a continuous run. The other part that can cause it to continuously run is as if this is not, if it's not sealed very well, it will never, it will never do that. So we're gonna go ahead and just replace this diaphragm and turn it back on. So here's our old diaphragm and the relief valve here that uh, the trip lever pushes. And here's the new one. Uh, the colors are important on these things. You wanna make sure you match them up. Uh, this thing, uh, I'm actually gonna use this rag and clean this up a little bit, try to get any of that debris out of there. And then this will just slide down in. You can see the deposits on this thing. Uh, it's just getting, it's getting quite old. And it's probably gonna be time to replace this whole thing pretty soon here. If yours is like that, you might have that same problem. Well, for today, we're just going to drop this guy in here and we're going to get our new uh, piece on the top. We're going to screw the cap back on. And I'm going to go just a little bit past hand tight. We can now turn our water on and test the toilet. it now has stopped flushing. So you're left over in this kit with the parts for the handle, which unless this handle is leaking, it rarely goes bad. And sometimes this vacuum breaker can get blocked, but it's better not to touch any of this if you don't have to. This will solve your problem.